Hi guys, it's Sarah. Uh, after watching the documentary on how smart are animals, I was really taken back by the amount of research that has been done on animals to test their intelligence. I think it is incredible that researchers are able to test animal intelligence and that they seem to only be moving forward with the research that they are doing. In the documentary, the dog named Chaser really stood out to me. Of over a thousand animals presented to Chaser, Chaser was able to recognize by name every single stuffed animal. I was really impressed by this. Then thinking more about it, I really not sure I could do something like this. Does this mean that a dog's smarter than me? I hope not. Although Chaser was able to successfully identify all the stuffed animals by name correctly each time, I wondered if the praise that Chaser received after finding the right stuffed animal had to do with Chaser's continuous success. If Chaser was not praised for finding the correct stuffed animal, would he still be able to find the correct stuffed animal each time? How much positive reinforcement is needed to allow Chaser's performance of finding the correct stuffed animal to continue? The dolphins in the documentary were also very appealing to me. The researchers really tested the dolphins' intelligence by giving the dolphins a task that needed to be processed in their brain to then be able to be completed. For example, researchers had put a fish in a cage underwater, and the only way to get the fish out was to add weight to the cage to trigger a lever to release the fish to the dolphin. At first, the dolphins were unaware how much weight was needed to release the fish, but after multiple trials, they figured out how much weight was needed. They started to begin to bring the weights over, not just one weight at a time, but multiple weights, to allow the fish to release from the cage at a quicker pace. This is not something that the researchers had taught the dolphins, but rather what the dolphins had taught themselves. This shows that the dolphins are actually very intelligent and have the ability to critically think and problem solve through a situation presented to them. Also, another animal in the documentary, Alex the parrot, showed that he had the ability to converse with the researchers that were studying him. Not only was Alex able to speak exactly what was on his mind, but he could also understand what humans were saying to him. This is something that a person would not think even twice that a parrot or any other animal could do. But back to the idea of positive reinforcement. Was the amount of positive reinforcement that Chaser, the dolphins, or even Alex received for their good work, the leading factor to why they were able to do the things that they did. Would picking out the correct stuffed animal, placing the correct amount of weight on a lever to retrieve a fish, or identifying shapes pre presented to them possible and remain possible if their reinforcement that was given to them was not as strong? I find that these examples of animal intelligence presented in the documentary gave me a new insight into how similar animals can behave to humans as far as how they process tasks that need to be done and the problem solving that they need to do to achieve their goals of, sol of their tasks. Although it seems like the animals are performing a simple task, it is still incredible that they are able to understand and complete a task that a human is instructing them to do.